Good morning. Distinguished delegates, colleagues, partners, ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege for me uh, to welcome all of you to the 8th University Scholars Leadership Symposium. I would like to thank Humanitarian Affairs Secretary General, Mr. Kim Solomon, who we just heard from, and the UNDP Thailand Country Office colleagues for extending the invitation to me and giving me this opportunity to speak today. As the UNDP, the United Nations Development Program, Deputy Regional Director for Asia and the Pacific, I'm often tasked with speaking in front of large audiences. But I must admit, being here with you is very different from some of the other events I usually attend, uh, standing in front of nearly 1,000 young people from all over the world. It's truly a great privilege. So thank you for giving me this privilege. Today, there are nearly 1.8 billion young people under the age of 25, and like many of you, they are dreaming and hoping for a prosperous and a better future. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago, although it was, when I was in your shoes, motivated and ready to take on the world. As an undergraduate in the United States, I studied economics, and I began my career working at the Federal Reserve Board of Governors in Washington, D.C. This is like the central bank of the United States. After a stint there at the Federal Reserve Board, and this might surprise you, I started working on Wall Street in the United States, in New York, and in the financial sector. And then I enrolled in a graduate degree in Harvard Business School. I was satisfied that my career prospects and by societal standards, I suppose, I was considered successful. But I still felt like there was something missing. Since being a college undergraduate, I had always wanted to do something different. I wanted to live abroad. I wanted to meet people from other cultures. I wanted to do something meaningful and with a real purpose something what wasn't just profit-oriented. Before I went to business school, but uh, after my undergraduate degree, I had an eight-month gap, and I could have kept working on Wall Street, earning more money to pay for my graduate degree. But instead, I decided to volunteer. I went to Peshawar, Pakistan, where I served as a volunteer for the International Rescue Committee and taught English to 18 Afghan men who were refugees. It was this extraordinary experience that made me want to go into development work as a future career, and I did it about your age. When I returned to the United States, I knew Wall Street wasn't for me. It was a different lifestyle. It wasn't quite what I wanted to do. It just didn't feel right. And though most of my friends and uh, fellow students from Harvard Business School ended up working there, I did not. This is when I discovered UNDP, where I still am now, the United Nations Development Program. They used to do recruitment events and talks at Harvard Business School and other graduate schools, not just in the uh, United States, but in many countries. And it was as if I found my home away from home and that I hadn't discovered it up to that point, but I found the organization that was right for me. Now, here I am with you today, as passionate as ever about my work, the work UNDP is doing for people and our planet. Yet, as I'm sure you're all well aware, we have extraordinary challenges ahead of us. Climate change, the fight against inequalities, trying to alleviate people who are living in poverty, combating violent extremism, just to name a few. But the good thing is we have a plan. In 2015, the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs as we call them, Everything in the UN is known by an acronym, so we call them the SDGs. Uh, these were adopted by all member states of the United Nations. The Sustainable Development Goals are a universal call to action to end poverty, to protect the planet, and to ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity. The goals are for, to be completed before 2030. 
There's 17 goals, and they build on the success of the Millennium Development Goals, which set the world's agenda, the development agenda, from 2000 to 2015, while including new areas such as climate change action, reducing economic inequalities, spurring innovation, sustainable production and consumption, fostering peace and justice, among other priorities. The goals are interconnected, often key to success in one will involve tackling issues more commonly associated with another. The SDGs work in the spirit of partnership and pragmatism to make the right choices now to improve life in a sustainable way, not just for us, but for our children and future generations. They provide clear guidelines and targets for all countries, not just developing countries, for all countries to adopt in accordance with their own priorities and the environmental challenges of the world at large. Supporting the 2030 agenda is a top priority for my organization, UNDP, and we're already working hard to achieve them. At the regional level, UNDP is partnering with Baosheng Bank and the City Foundation to implement a regional initiative focusing on youth leadership, innovation, social entrepreneurship to accelerate the achievement of the SDGs. At the national level, we're making great strides even in difficult environments. Afghanistan is one of the most challenging countries in the world to be a woman or a young girl. And for a woman or a young girl to get a quality education, UNDP and Kabul University have partnered to launch the country's first ever master's degree in gender and women's studies. We've trained religious leaders who are now preaching about women's rights. We've done workshops on girls' education, child marriage, and preventing violence against women. I can think of many compelling examples, for instance, here in Thailand, uh, to raise public awareness about reducing corruption. UNDP and partners established the Thai Youth Anti-Corruption Network. This student-led anti-corruption group is now comprised of more than 6,000 Thai students from more than 90 universities. They carried out powerful advocacy campaigns and initiatives such as Refuse to be Corrupt Cafes. Achieving the SDGs requires the partnership of governments, private sector, civil society, and citizens, and particularly young people, to make sure we mobilize and share knowledge, expertise, technology, and financial resources. It's often said that young people such as you are the future. Well, young people such as you are also our present. And we need your leadership, your enthusiasm, your creativity, your courage, and your perseverance to achieve these goals. In the coming days, months, and years ahead, please commit yourselves to helping achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Whether you are volunteering here in Thailand, as you will later this week, whether you run a social enterprise in China, and yes, whether you choose to work on Wall Street, I hope you strive every day to make a world, the world a more equal, peaceful, and sustainable home for all of us. I wish you all the best in your endeavors. Thank you all very much.